is up great people I'm on my way home and uh, just wanted to post a quick video uh, talking about the continual dishonesty of uh, the media um, specifically late night or comedy central media and the reason I say that is because uh, a lot of people today are pretty much they're getting their news from comedy they're not really getting their news from CNN anymore or CBS NBC whatever they're they're MSNBC they're not really getting their their news from that you know younger younger crowds and stuff are gravitating towards Comedy Central and they're watching these news style programs and thinking that it is actual you know real news um, but sad to say it, it isn't so you got a guy like Jim Jeffries now Jim Jeffries is a comedian some people find him funny not so much I don't think he's particularly that funny uh, I tried watching some of his specials on Netflix and yeah not really not really my cup of tea however uh, he has been known to do these interview pieces where he's he ha brings in a guest and uh, has them interview it and ask him all these questions and this sort of thing and uh, then what he does is he takes and he has his uh, people edit the show in order to uh, rather edit the interview to, to make it seem like they're answering questions that have nothing to do with they were with what they were originally asked and you know that's what they do they do that in in, in Hollywood they do that in, in in entertainment they you know it's all about editing um, and so uh, there was uh, uh, someone that you know I follow on YouTube his name is uh, um, uh, I guess his channel is called comics Battle. used to call diversity in comics they did that to him on an interview and people react to that because he's involved in this thing called comics gate or at least he was and uh, and so they were using that to claim that CC he's a white supremacist and this sort of thing um, but uh, you know to me that's just like people that aren't paying attention they don't follow the news they don't look at the whole thing they're just you know Twitter Twitterverse kind of folks that just respond well recently there was a gentleman named uh, Avi Amini he's a you know he's he's a right of center um, outspoken Jewish man and uh, he did an interview with uh, Jim Jeffries on his show and uh, going into it he specifically said I would agree to go on your show but uh, on two conditions number one that you don't associate me with the white supremacist movement and that number two you don't splice the answers to my questions and cut them up so that I'm actually respond so that I'm responding to questions other than what you directly asked me and uh, the producers agreed and everything and obviously he gets there and uh, they recorded the show and um, when he saw the interview it was exactly what he thought they definitely connected him with white supremacists they edited the interview so that it seemed like you know he was uh, anti-Muslim and uh, just really evil and, and you know made, just made him look really like far right and to the, to the point where they uh, tried to link him or pretty much linked him uh, as having something to do with uh, the Christchurch uh, shooter uh, and um, but here's where the, the gotcha happens is that uh, unlike unlike uh, um, the other person I spoke to about uh, that got interviewed uh, Avi Armini was smart enough to place a camera uh, and hide it so that it would catch Jim Jeffries and and uh, his interview in full so about an hour's worth of interview uh, and you're able to see the actual questions that were asked and you're actually able to see the actual responses to the questions and then compare it against the actual release video by the Jim Jeffrey shows and see that it's all a lie fabricated and edited out uh, to make uh, Avi look bad 
And, uh, you know, the sad part about it is that there are many people that are probably going to watch that video that, you know, um, trust the media or are, you know, they're, they just don't want to, you know, look for the truth themselves. They're comfortable in believing that the media, you know, is, is, is right and they wouldn't trick them or anything like that. But the, we all know the reality on that is that, you know, I haven't trusted the media for decades. So, you know, I always know that there's something a little bit shady about it. You know, the way that they cut things, make things look bigger than they are and all that. I've actually experienced that. You know, I've been I've been on, 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 on television and have been uh, taped uh, for programs. Uh, and and I, I've seen the behind the scenes on how they make things try to appear on TV. It's all fantasy. But um, nonetheless, you know, there is a concerted effort for people that are independent thinkers that that are more conservative or that are right of center, you know, to make them out to be alt-right, to make them look like they're hateful people and this sort of thing, and and it's completely disingenuous. And, and to me, you know, if a person really is the way that they are, you should be able to find out enough truth about them out there in order to make your point without having to resort to editing an, an interview to make them... Uh, appear as as you're accusing them or as you want them to look uh, you know the truth is always the best option but yet you know these these uh, uh, SJW types or liberal types they always 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 reserve resort to lies or half truths which whatever a half truth is still a lie sorry but you know it's sad you know, and uh, uh, I just want to, I'm just kind of disgusted. It's pretty disgusting, actually. So, you know, people, you know, search for yourself. You know, there, there are good, meaning, honest, liberal people out there. And, you know, also conservatives. And then there's liars. There's liars on both sides. You know, we need to do our due diligence and, and really search out the truth and find out exactly what the truth is. Because, you know, the truth will make us free. And when we get in the practice of of seeking the truth, it's going to be like a, like, a, like a meter, all right, that's going to go off to let us know whenever someone is not being truthful was because we're going to know how truth sounds the notes the music that it that it that it uh um it has a certain rhythm you know it, it's just, just something about the truth that just always rings right you know they say that that the, the that rings true and it's because of of that quality of the truth whereas a lie it may sound good at first, but boy, I tell you, there's just a there's just a dis, deceptious, this deceptiveness uh, to it. So, anyway, listen, that's the end of my rant. I just wanted to kind of bring that up because it's uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. It really is kind of crazy. So, anyway, listen, peace out, uh, everyone. Have a great day and a great night, and uh, love y'all. Take care. Bye bye.